No conference in any sport at any level has more great stadiums than the Big Ten. Of those, Michigan Stadium might be the best known. But six Big Ten schools had already built theirs before Michigan even broke ground in 1925. That bothered Fielding Yost, Michigan's legendary coach and athletic director. He was determined to catch up and fast. In 1927, a mere 35,000 people lived in Ann Arbor. Yet Yost built a stadium to hold 85,000 fans, with plans to expand to 140,000 fans. Yost's ambitious stadium started paying off in its third week. Wolverines won their dedication game against Ohio State 21 to nothing. The place was packed. Afterward, Yost walked back to campus with All-American Benny Oosterbahn. Yost was feeling pretty good. He lit a cigar, turned to Oosterbahn, and said, Benny, you know what the best thing about that new stadium is? 85,000 people paid five bucks a piece for their seats. And Benny, they had to leave the seats there. And that's how the big house was born.